Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Paulo Grady, Darius Campbell Danish and more honored at the Olivier Awards, this year's Olivier Awards, recognized a wealth of late stars during the 2023 ceremony. The annual event, held at London's Albert Hall and hosted by Ted Lasso's Hannah Waddingham, honors the achievements of theatre stars. But amidst all the celebrations there was there was also some time to reflect as Paulo Grady, Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber's son Nicholas and Darius Campbell Danish were remembered. Other famous faces honored at the ceremony included Dame Angela Lansbury, Dame Hilary Mantle, Bert Bacherich and Bernard Cribbins, and Kay Miller. Viewers were in tears during the stunning in memoriam segment while Seasons of Love from Rent was sung in the background. Dotto Grady's death shocked the nation earlier this week, when the drag queen and comedian died unexpectedly at the age of 67. His husband, Andre Portacio, confirmed the devastating news in a statement, saying at the time, It is with great sadness that I have to inform you that Paul passed away unexpectedly but peacefully last night. At this difficult time that while you celebrate his life, that you also respect our privacy as we come to terms with this loss. He will be greatly missed by his loved ones, friends, family, animals and everyone who enjoyed his humor, wit and compassion. Knowing he wants me to thank you for all the love that you have shown him over the years. It was later revealed that the blind date host died in his own bed, with tributes everywhere and special episodes of Blankety Blank and For the Love of Dogs, aired to change the schedule. Meanwhile, Lord Lloyd Webber confirmed this month that his 43-year-old son had died after a battle with stomach cancer. The 75-year-old Oscar winner broke the news on Twitter on March 25, writing, I am devastated to announce that my beloved older son Nick passed away a few hours ago in Basingstoke Hospital. His whole family is gathered and we are all completely abandoned. The announcement came shortly after Lord Lloyd Webber revealed that eldest, 